Finally time to do an update on one of my favorite ants, Chromatogossa scutellaris. In this video I will show you their current progress and colony growth. Let me tell you, it's a good one. Before we'll start with the video, please like this video and subscribe as that would greatly help the channel. For the new subscribers, I got my Chromatogossa scutellaris colony a few months back. This colony came to me as a single queen. I fell in love with her quickly because the end itself is really beautiful. Then the queen got the first workers pretty fast and I managed to take this really cute shot of them together. A little bit later a second worker appeared. Sadly this second worker died soon after. And that's where I ended the video last time. We are now 5 weeks later and this is what the colony currently looks like. As you can see the colony has a lot of brood and some naked pupae. It's very cool to see the shape of the larvae and pupae. These ants are so beautiful, I love them. You probably can tell that this test tube is insanely dirty and gross. That is why I did not record all that much footage from this colony. I thought it was a good idea to move the ants into a new test tube. So I connected a tube with ring shirt to a mini outworld and prepared it for the ants. The regular aesthetic ants customer will know that longer tubes don't fit onto my mini outworld. But I found myself a life hack that I want to show you guys. By placing some cotton at the bottom of the test tube, you can screw in the test tube and it stays in place. It works very well and no ants escaped. The gold insert I use looks cool and the test tube looks very clean in contrast to the dirty tube. I wanted to place the mini outworld on a heating cable, but as you can see it was getting really messy on my ant desk. This needed to be changed. I found some small planks inside my garage which have a perfect engraving for my heat cable. It could not be more perfect. Installation went super easy and as you can see my setup looks so clean and it's just all super efficient. I left the colony to rest for a couple of weeks. The colony moved to a new test tube pretty fast. Here you can see the colony around 2 weeks later. As you can see the colony grew even more and do you see that brood pile? We are in for an explosion soon. If all those eggs and pupae hatch. I need to start to think about a new nest. As it turns out I have this wooden nest laying around not being used. Chromatogossa scutellaris doesn't like high humidity that much, so a wooden nest is perfect for them. Do you guys have any idea how many workers the colony needs to be moved inside this nest? I think around 150, but I'm not sure. Please leave your thoughts in the comments. Another week went by and I removed the old test tube from the nest since it did not have any function anymore. As you can see the colony is still doing great and putting them on a heat cable really boosted this colony. In this test tube configuration you can clearly see what the ants like more. They prefer heating over humidity. In this case the ring shirt helps as well creating a more dry environment for the ants. There's one more thing we need to do and that is feed the ants. This went pretty well and finally we have a good shot of the scorpion behavior these ants perform. While you are looking at the ants feeding, let me tell you a little bit about the care of this colony so far. As I mentioned earlier, these ants love heat. Heat gets them to do anything. I have been told scutellars are escape artists. 
So far, I have not noticed. They also don't escape from the mini outworld at all. They eat everything on the menu and are often hungry. Keep feeding them and they will grow fast. Chromatogaster scalaris is an ant species that can blow up in the thousands really fast. Let's hope that happens. In the meantime, I will keep you guys updated. And that's it for this video. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this colony update. And I'll see you in the next one.